Is this thing on? There we go. I need to get myself a little bit smaller of a camera because I have to extend this out super far away, but I'm making this quick video because I promised I would do it. I guess I should zoom this out a little bit right here. I just made this video because my setup is pretty much done. You guys have seen my previous video uh, I did about a couple weeks ago. Simply put, I'm in Texas right now. I'm working with a temporary setup right now while this is under construction before it inevitably becomes foamified. This is obviously what's sitting right in front of me. This is my view. You can see I just edited a video or actually no, that's me just going through some footage that I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use yet because that's my track right there. I wasn't talking very much. Here's my Twitter feed. I have 219 new notifications. We just did a midnight RP session. Look at all those YouTube tabs. Oh, and then a couple of other things. Amazon, Epic. What is that? I don't even, can't remember what that is. There we go. There's some Google Maps thing. I was trying to figure out where to go. I'm already getting dust on there too. Why am I getting dust on my microphone? Ooh, that was kind of cool. That was like that film, the dramatic film effect. Whoosh. You start out zoomed in, then when you move really close, you zoom out. There we go. All right, anyways, I'm getting carried away. Anyways, it's a bit dark in here, so I'm just gonna turn on some lights. Light things up right there. You know what, I'm gonna turn on this one. That's probably the best thing about my setup right now. Basically, I replaced every single bulb in my room with those Philip Hue bulbs, and I'm sure if you've lived in the 21st century at some point, you've probably heard of them, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, they're basically uh, bulbs you can connect to your Wi-Fi. Uh, then you can control off your phone or your computer. You make them change color. So I have three in this one. And I have three in this one. I just thought it might be a cool thing to have uh, to control from my computer. That way I can have some kind of dynamic setup. There's stuff all over my camera. I also got a little lamp right there on my camera. This almost serves as a little bit of a color correcting lamp. There was one session I filmed where a lot of people said like, oh, I saw one person say, uh, I think Z looks a little sunburned. Uh, that's probably why, because you saw this lamp right in front of my face. Since I only have one lamp right here, if I cover the lamp at all, it looks like I would have five o'clock shadow, like right there, because my mic would be right in front of my face. It would make me look like I have like some gray beard. Uh, so uh, what I've done is I've changed the settings for recording to just have that color instead. So it's more of just a standard light color. So now you see this, although maybe I still need to change that a little bit. <laughs> With this, I can actually control all the light bulbs in my room. Right now I have three settings. I got normal, which basically just turns everything off except my ring light because I need to uh, I need to find a way where I can incorporate my ring light into this because it's not part of the Philips Hue environment. Uh, so I have to turn that off manually still, but it would be nice where if I could turn that off with one push of a button, but it turns this light off, it turns this light off, it turns this light off. Uh, so it pretty much just turns off everything except the ring light. And this, it just leaves this on, like it just leaves it at a standard color. Then you got my recording setting and then boom, turns this light on. So my face gets lit up just a little bit more from the bottom angle, turns on this light. There is a Philips Hue bulb in here. It's not the conventional way to use one of these things because it's not as bright as it's supposed to be, but I figured it would be a good idea to have a light bulb in one of these lighting kits. So that way I can just just illuminate this a bit more the way I want it to be. And then of course it turns on these lights right here. And then there's my favorite setting. The only other weird setting that I have right now, it's my red alert button and it turns everything red, but it only really works when I turn off the ring light. Boom. So once I have a button where I can turn off my ring light on the fly, that'll be cool. Just imagine that. Uh, so I just have like the normal lights on, then I go whoo, whoo. <laughs> Fun fact, actually, uh, there's something, your eyes have these cones in them, or th there's some kind of cones, like color prisms, or don't quote me on that. There's, there's something to do with cones in your eyes where if they don't receive enough light, you actually see in black and white. So if, if it's very dim outside, if you're in a very dim environment at night, very minimal lighting, you will actually technically be seeing in black and white. I'm ki I kind of feel like I'm getting that right now. And I feel like the camera's getting that right now. I feel like I'm only seeing shades of red. It's pretty cool. I'm in a dark room. I can totally develop uh, photography in here. Once again, I have gunk all over my camera, so that's great. Never shine a light into this thing. We got Kermit the Frog over here. I brought Kermit from California. We got the PlayStation VR and the helmet that I crafted several years ago. And these are just uh, things that you can put on Kermit so you can control his arms and legs, or just his arms actually. You got a little console stand, we got an Xbox One X, PlayStation 4, you got a Nintendo Switch in there, and then here is an HDMI switch so I can switch between all the consoles because I'm 
I really don't like unplugging cables. I'd much rather have a button to press just to switch the signal. We got an HTC Vive down there. It's very messy. I will try and fix the cables. Uh, that is something I will try to organize, but that's how it looks for the time being. And of course we got the computer down there. This I actually never really showed in my first setup video. That is my computer. Basically a 290 ATIs. We got the newest Elgato card in there. Uh, lots of memory. It looks like a computer in there. It's a full tower. We got the microphone. You already saw that. Uh, we got a record player. I think mechanical things are fun. It's certainly a lot less boring than digital. So I thought it was fun. I thought it was a fun thing to collect. And also you can do this. I don't care if that really ruins the record, but that can ruin the record when you do that. We got a bunch of random records right there, but this is basically how things go down. I have a bunch of classic rock on this side, and then a bunch of movie scores on this side. So I'll get closer. If you want to pause the video and just look at that, you can try and make out all the things I have in there. You can feel free to do so. Oh yeah, and this is pretty much all of the Dragon Ball manga. I haven't read them all, I think I've read like five of them, but... We have drawers here filled with a bunch of cables. These are all HDMI cables pretty much, except for uh, I think a couple SDI cables down there. Uh, bunch of USB cables in here, this is XLR cables, that's pretty much all XLR. Uh, audio cables, that's pretty much all RCA. Uh, put those down right there. This is miscellaneous. I think that's some more HDMI cables down there and network cables in there. So that's but that's all my extra cabling there organized by the type. Uh, then over here we have a bunch of junk drawers. And then I have a keyboard actually. I've actually had this for years. That sat behind my couch uh, in my old office uh, that I just moved from. I actually don't really know how to play the piano. I bought one thinking that I would probably learn on my own, but I haven't gotten around to doing it. As you can see from my record collection over there, I like movie scores. Uh, and I've, I've always thought uh, scoring music would have been a really cool hobby to learn, but haven't done it. Maybe I will eventually, but I have it here if I want to poke around with some keys. I, I know like some Zelda songs or something. I only know how to play some things by memorizing which keys to press, but I don't know like all the the theory behind it. Those are the lighthouses for the Vive, so that way you can track everything. I looked up a tutorial on how to actually mount these things on a non-permanent basis without actually using uh, tripods as well. What you can do is you can buy one of those bendy tripods that you can pretty much put anywhere and then buy those plastic adhesive wall hanging hooks, apply two to a corner and just rest uh, two legs of the bendy tripod on those hooks and then one that braces against the wall, and then there you go. It'll stay right up there, and it actually also helps uh, hold all this foam together too. And speaking of foam, here's all the acoustic foam. We have the Viking logo. One thing that bugs me about this is stuff like this. These cracks, like you probably can't see them from far away. You know, it looks fine from far away, but you know, when I'm in the room physically and I'm walking by this thing, it bugs the hell out of me seeing all this. This is just a result of me placing them on the, on the wall and then there's imperfections everywhere. Like this one's kind of poking out a little bit. Uh, something will be slightly off and it'll create like this, this massive error placement. I kind of fudge that one a little bit. Uh, we have a gray side over here. I really went for the multicolored look in this one. Look at that. That's awful right there. Pretty much all the gray right there. And there's the second Vive Lighthouse. We have a corner column with red. We got a black spot right there. Right here, this is also gonna be red, but I haven't done it yet. I wanted to get this video up for this weekend, so I, I didn't, uh, I'm not fully done with the room yet, but I'll probably get this done next week. Uh, but that'll be a red column. The rest of this will be black. There'll be white foam on that door. And then, as you can see, lots of black foam on this side white foam on the door, white foam on that door. Here is my general recording setup. I've showed this before in my previous setup video back in California, uh, but basically this is a, I guess like you can call this a second PC, but it's more of like just an external recording setup. Uh, this is what's called a Shogun Studio, which uh, is a pair of external recorders where 
One of them will record my face cam and the other one will record my computer monitor. And it can also record uh, consoles as well. And so basically if, if I hit the record button on this side, this one will automatically start recording and there will be no need for syncing up anything. Uh, this is my audio interface. Tom, were you spying on me? I was looking in here because I haven't seen the thing fully set up yet. Oh. Uh, Hello. Hello, sorry, I was. I didn't know if you wanted to be filmed. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, I, I, I bit. I was editing my entire thing, and I just realized I never showed my recording setup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this I showed your, every. Is this I, your I, I moved to Austin video. I mean, I already kind of did it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I'll Bye, Tom. Do it. Bye, Tom. Bye. This is pretty much the same as the Line 6 UX2 that you'll see a lot of other YouTubers use, but this is uh, like a, a studio rack version of it and one that's independent of a computer. So the actual processor for processing the audio is inside this. And then this is my mixer where it just puts all the audio tracks together and you can see it's already picking up my voice from super far away. Uh, so. Let's see here, so that's my PC track, that's actually my record track, so I could actually uh, use my record player and have it come through my microphone so other people can hear it and so I can record it as well. And that's just the master mix, that's basically my microphone, that's my mic slider. So all of it is just thrown together in this box. Uh, it's a bit overkill of a setup, but I kind of like hardware so I'm okay with it. Uh, definitely wouldn't recommend getting something like this if you're just starting out. Uh, but if you like hardware and you like maximum fun, uh, definitely go with something like this because it's a lot of fun. And then that's it. That's the setup. Oh, oh, there's my, there's me talking into the microphone. I have to turn the speakers down. Okay, so anyways, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, nothing really else to say in this video other than just to show you guys my setup and you can see that uh, my lighting is it's making me look very red right now. Maybe I'll just roll up this angle for recording so I can look like this all the time. That way if I have a zit or something, you won't be able to see it. All right, that's it. We're going on red alert. <laughs>